Oh hell yeah, we finally did it! Triple digits, man! So, how should we celebrate? How about... Okay, no... How about just reviewing a shit anime? I, I mean, the worst of the worst, like a literal piece of shit. Just come with me. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere around here. Okay, so... Uh, Sword Art Online, second season of Death Note, and... Oh, I found it. Mars of Destruction. Wait, what? This anime has style. Well, I guess every anime has one. So, this one is, uh, well, it's shit. You can see it yourself in the very first minute when a plane is crashing down in atmosphere. I couldn't even tell what that was for the first half of a minute. It just seemed like a blur. And then it disappears with an RGB lighting effect. Then you see three girls. One of them is very badly animated. But thankfully, she dies in the next five seconds. Was she done like that on purpose because they knew they wanna kill her off? Who knows? Who gives a fuck? So let's talk about the good stuff. It's not all bad. I'm not a totally pessimistic person, so if an anime has a chance, I'm gonna give it a chance. The music is great. Probably because they didn't compose it themselves, but instead just took classical art pieces that everybody loves and are critically acclaimed. And in the beginning, it blends well with the atmosphere. Until they fuck that up too! Later on in a scene, they have three classical art pieces in a one minute interval without any fading effects, without any transitions at all. It sounds horrific! They don't blend at all because they are totally different genres. It's something close to impossible to fuck up and you still did it! But... Yeah, that's all I have for the good stuff. So the beginning is pretty okay. We have classical music, some minimal animation, and from what I can gather, a spaceship is coming back from Mars to land on Earth, but something goes wrong and it dissipates in the atmosphere. Apparently they managed to gather some pieces from the spaceship and make an armor out of it to fight the ancients, who are monsters. Well, uh, more on that later on. This is where we first see the girls. Four of them. Well, one of them is extremely disfigured, but as mentioned earlier, she dies pretty quickly. Apparently, they are the special force made to fight the ancients. The best of the best. The top of the class. Masters of hand-to-hand -hand combat long-range weaponry and other cool stuff. So what the fuck was that in the beginning? They just stood there waiting to be killed off. Then we get introduced to our protagonist. Another whiny little bitch boy who got handed amazing technology because he is the only hope of humanity. We already have one of those and don't need another one. So seriously, go and get fucked. And do you hear that? What are those? That's like somebody's pushing a shit out in the toilet, but doesn't want to disturb the people in the other room. All the sound effects here are just so weak. So then they try doing some character development. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty surprised myself. But thankfully, five seconds in, another person is like, Are you stupid or something? You can't drive and talk at the same time. And then they stop. Finally. A boss appears. He's not like the rest. He's the. But are you sure this isn't a comedy? The guy, the savior of the whole world, the dude with the alien tech, just straight up goes after the baddie, and he just puts his hand up, and they're like, "No, nope, well, he blocked it." Oi! Can we get him some hand-to-hand -hand combat from the girls? What? The girls didn't learn that kind of lessons with their hands. Oh. 
So thank god the evil dude doesn't actually kill anybody, but instead likes to strangle them. At one point he even puts one woman down to strangle another one. That's some fucked up fetish you have right there. So thanks to some movie magic, the protagonist gets a gun and shoots him dead with it. Yep, that's done with it. Wait, stop! What is that? Enhance! Enhance some more! Oh my god! It's the drawing of a car I made when I was two years old! Now the ending. The ultimate climax. Are you ready to get shocked? I know I wasn't. It turns out that the ancients were earthlings all along. And the humans who inhabited earth were the aliens. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the most idiotic thing I've heard too. Even M. Night Shyamalan doesn't have plot twists this stupid. At least not always. And oh boy, there exists a fan dub version in English. Now, since Ghost Stories was actually good, I was expecting something along the lines of parody and satire. But fuck me, this is actually worse than the original. You have copyrighted music that I can't play right now, no sound effects to speak of, and the ones that exist are completely random. <laughs> The only reason you should watch it, and shouldn't at the same time, is because of the voice actors, and that they don't fit at all. The two agents found, proceed to eliminate them. It's just a random mess that the fans have made. I don't know what I was expecting, actually. It's complete garbage. I can't see why in most of the anime lists that state the worst anime of all time, it exists. And now it's time to mess this up. Oh! Time to put you back to where you belong. Oh. 